Miriam and DeWitt, I'm going to give you a tour of the, our casita and the things that we have done that might be different or might be interesting to you. First thing is on the front, of course, we have a different configuration of tank and so on and so forth. This uh, tongue jack that I have added or replaced is one that I can either do manually like this and you know turn it or I can put a drill up here and electric battery power drill and, and do it that way. Our sewer hose goes in this tube that's up front and yours I think goes in the back bumper. Let's see that's about the only thing that's special up here. We've added a little little um, what do you call it? Door bumper and can we get in? Nope, Tandy's got it locked. Alright, uh, that unlocks it. Uh, up here the previous owner had put some screen over that vent. Holy cow, look at, look at that thing on there. How do I get that off? I guess I won't worry about him. He stays there. Inside, I'll turn on the light. One of the things we added, uh, close, turn on all the lights. Dark in here. Our refrigerator might be a little different than yours. We have the controls here for that's whether it's gas, um, electric, or DC. Ours will run on DC. This is a little hard to turn, but in fact, I've had to replace that knob once. Um, our microwave is behind there, and this little cabinet. The previous owner had put a 12-volt receptacle up here. It's also got some other stuff. There's a little inverter here, which we have never actually used. Uh, the microwave is behind here. Um, Tandy did some work to make this area a little prettier. We have a piece of wood here, and of course this guy lifts up, and that's where the stove is. Yours doesn't have this this piece. This was added by the previous owner. I don't know why. I think yours does have the piece over on this other side. Let me turn on some lights back here. Uh, the previous owner added two lights over here because he and his wife like to uh, take their backrest that we have back here, put them up against here, and they could both sit and read. And so he put a uh, another piece down here, so the window is partly covered. Let's see. The window on this side, which you may or may not know about, uh, is your escape hatch if you ever had to get out in an emergency. Um, let's see. Our tables are a little different. Our table is a little different. I think this is the original post, which goes down to the bottom. Um, and I think you have this wooden piece back here so that you have a little storage area back there, or at least we do. Um, and then our table, the pieces will come up like that and make the table a little bit bigger. I don't know what the size of the original table was because, I mean, this may have been part of it. I don't know. Um, underneath ours, we keep a long roll-out thingamajig for storage. Um, over here is where 
the um, connection or the controls are for the water heater. Up above is is uh, come on. that turns it on for electric, and down below is the switch to turn it on for gas. Let's see over here. What do we have? This turns on the pump for the water. We have that's the pump for the or the switch for the, the exhaust, which is a little different. And you have a uh, a vent hood, which extends over here, uh, which which is fine. It's just configured a little differently. I think you have a, a light up here, or it may be. Maybe it's over here. You can I can see some spots that are a little different. Um, the original connections back here. You know, I'm in the back of the thing. Where, where is it? Uh, yeah, that's what I'm trying to show you. That that 120 volt plug. I think on yours next to it there is a connection for the TV. And there's also a 12 volt uh, receptacle like this one that we have here. Um, one of the things that's really handy to have for your refrigerator is this little guy. It's a fan that you can put inside. It doesn't move a lot of air, but it moves enough so that it circulates the, the air. Uh, very nicely. This gizmo is a, uh, a dual thermometer that is available from Amazon. It would attach with magnets, uh, but since this piece here doesn't have enough stuff, Carl just put this little place to stick it in there. And the sensors which go inside the refrigerator uh, I just have out front here. That's what the inside of ours looks like. I suspect yours is similar. We put one of the sensors up here in the freezer and then the other just down in the refrigerator and we put the little blue air circulator that I just showed you into uh, you know the lower part. Let's see. I expect you have a drawer here like we do. And then down here we have a trash can, and over here, I think that's, I think this wire is standard, but I don't know. I really don't. There's nothing special up here. Your cabinet connections, your, your latches are a little different than ours. Um, I think your magic fan is the same. The only gotcha I've ever um, encountered is the fact that there is a, a temperature thing here and if you turn it to a certain point, well, it just won't turn on. So I always leave it to the coolest. It will blow in and out. There's a fuse thingamajig there. Let's see, what else? Bo, stop licking. There you go, thank you. Uh, the bathroom, nothing really special in here. Well, maybe there is. I don't know. That's what ours looks like. We have the little shower gizmo. Um, this, of course, is your exhaust. You push that up, and then there's the bathroom. This is the the window that you can open and lift out and put your put your cleaning wand in there to to do the tank if that's what you want to do. Uh, Carl did add this additional light switch up here which is nice and that's what we have hanging on the inside of the the door. Hang some shoes and so forth. Our closet there we go. this is where we put in we have four of these things upstairs <coughs> excuse me, that uh, we load with clothes before we get ready to go. And Carl built this little shelf on the bottom that it, it sits on. 
um, and then there's kind of a little hole there. We call that our dirty, dirty laundry place. Um, Tandy's got a hanging thing. Actually, Carl added that hanging thing. Uh, let's see. It's a good idea to have this little bumper up on top for folks like DeWitt who are tall. Um, this is this is something we've added this you know suction cup thing. Sometimes it 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 seems to loosen up. I don't know why. You'd think on this this uh, nice fiberglass shiny it would really stay well. Let's go outside. Hi, Bibi. Um, in the back. We have the, what I call the basement. We have just a 16 gallon tank that's smaller, so that's where we store stuff. Carl added some little magnets, which is really handy. I took the, there was a lock there. I took mine off and just have a twisty. Back here is where the water goes. That's the same as yours. I think you have some some reflectors up here on the back. We don't have that. I have some reflectors on the bottom. Uh, let's see. Over here is the the different place, and this is where we have our um, electric connection. Carl modified that somewhat. And then here is the little if I get open, yeah, the little door that I just put some silicone on so, because I think this is where ants were getting in. I didn't, this is not the original. Uh, Carl replaced it because he put this electric connection up here. The Your connection comes through here with a different thing. This of course is your water heater. Um, and this is where, you know, it's a storage space and your, your cord will fit in there. Um, on this one, this is where I think our bugs were getting in. I'm going to put some more stuff on there to make it a little tighter. Uh, let's see. Ugh. Battery lives back here, of course. This is your emergency exit. I've never tried it, but they say it works. Down, oh, up, up front is, are we still going? Yes, we're still going. This is the, the, the pull to uh, open the drain on the shower floor. And up here is my container for the, the, the stinky hose, whatever they call it. Yeah. This video is not going to be great, but... I just un uncovered it from, you know, our trip, and it looks like it's getting dirty already, which is aggravating. I guess that's about all the important things that we have, have done that I can think of. Fortunately, that bug is still there. I hope you can see him. I've got a get rid of him before he gets to somebody. There are a couple little tabs up here to to seal that when you're traveling. Sometimes they stay, sometimes they don't, I guess. Well, that's about it. These little things are flagpole holders and we, uh, I put these in to uh, build I have a drying rack that comes out on either side, which is, is handy. And that's about all the stuff I can think of to share on this, this visit. Um, so hopefully we'll get together and share things for real in person before too long. That's all. See you later.